Amazon should just throw in the towel and stop working on Alexa AI now. This week, Apple announced their new AI and it has some really cool features that are gonna blow away anything that Alexa AI can do. Some of these features will be nearly impossible for Alexa AI. So let's talk about Apple intelligence and make sure to stay at the end. Apple dropped a huge announcement that pretty much seals Alexa AI fate as the lesser AI. Google's AI might not be able to compete with some of this stuff too. This week, Apple held their worldwide developer conference where they announced new features coming to iOS, iPad OS, tvOS, macOS, all the OSs. They announced these tools so developers can start implementing them into their apps. During the event, Apple announced their new AI called Apple Intelligence. Yes, Apple had to change the meaning of AI, just like Apple's Vision Pro headset. It's not an AR or VR headset. It's a spatial computer on your face. Duh, you can't charge that kind of money for an AR or VR. Apple Intelligence is gonna work across all Apple devices and is going to be implemented with iOS 18, iPad OS 18, and Mac OS Sequoia. There is no word yet of when Apple Intelligence might be used with Apple TVs or HomePods. I have a feeling with HomePods, it's gonna be something where you make a request and some of the processing might be done there, but I have a feeling the processing will happen on your device to keep everything private and personal, and then you'll get a response out of the HomePod. But we'll have to see. One of the things that's gonna be a bummer for some people is that Apple Intelligence is only gonna work on iPhone 15 Pros and newer. For computers and iPads, you just need an M1 chip, which is great. You can buy the $699 2020 MacBook Air with an M1 chip and take advantage of Apple Intelligence. This update's gonna come out in the fall, and with all these new features, Features, it's gonna be a big year of iPad device upgrade. So the quick overview, Apple Intelligence is meant to help you with everyday tasks, such as writing emails, scheduling events, editing photos. You can even create photos and emojis from text. It sounds really impressive. There's even chat GPT support that we'll talk about. Meanwhile, on the Alexa AI, the rumors are pointing to a smarter Alexa, but unfortunately, and this is one of the differences between the two, is that there there is gonna be a subscription cost to Alexa AI. It could be $20 a month, which is the same as ChatGPT Pro, um, but I, I, I'm sorry, I don't see Alexa AI being as smart as ChatGPT. Plus, I see Amazon doing their suggestions or the by the ways with their AI um, and possibly being just as annoying as Alexa can be now. As I talk about Apple intelligence, think about the fact that it's free and it even has chat GPT support for free. A big advantage that Apple's gonna have over Alexa AI and other AI models is privacy and security. That's a big concern these days. You wanna ask questions and you have something that can go back and forth with you. Is it saving your data there? Are they using it to train their models? What's going on with that? Now the way Apple intelligence handles AI is that most of the AI requests are handled directly on device. Now, if it can't be handled on device, the request then goes to Apple's private cloud network, you know, whatever name, goes to their servers, and no information is saved there. It's just used to process the request. Now, to take it further, you can be prompted to have that request go to ChatGPT. Apple has even made using ChatGPT's AI more secure, and we'll talk about how in a minute. Now, there's no way Alexa AI can be that private and secure and keep everything on device. Alexa's all pretty much all cloud-based. They don't really do anything local. And once it goes to the cloud, are they using it to train their stuff? Is there people reviewing the information? Never know. Next thing that's unique about Apple Intelligence is the native operating system support. This is built into everything. You can't beat that when it's integrated into all the native apps. Apple Intelligence is also available for third-party developers to use and implement into their apps. 
That's not possible to have that kind of control with Alexa AI. Alexa is an app that is borrowing space on another company's device, whether it be an iPhone or an Android phone. They, they'll they never get the same kind of integration. Alexa AI is gonna have to stay within their ecosystem of Fire TV devices and Echoes. With Siri, you're gonna be able to make requests and it's gonna be able to grab information from all different apps and that's gonna add a ton of value. Now next, a big difference is is with it being able to grab information from the different apps is that you have personal context to your request. You already are trusting your device to input messages to people and to have your private emails and photos. So to be able to grab information from those and uh, to answer your questions in a personal way is going to be huge. Uh, there's no way Alexa AI is gonna have access to all that personal information. Where Apple intelligence can really exceed is that it is within all different apps. So you can take advantage of writing tools that can double check your grammar, they can proofread it for you, they can rewrite uh, text for you and give you three different options to choose from. You can also change the mood of what you're typing. So if you type up an email, you can choose to make it professional. Or if it's to a friend, you can choose to make it funny and it'll give you different options to pick from. Unlike what Alexa AI is gonna be able to do, primarily voice, maybe text, Apple intelligence can work with photos too. For example, in the Photos app, you can have it make edits for you. There's a cleanup tool where it can look at the objects you might wanna remove from the image and then remove them. You can go in, into Image Playground and create images based on text. We, you can create emojis just based on a description. You can also take advantage of Image Wand, which will take a handwritten sketch and will convert it to an image. Crazy times we live in, I love it. Apple intelligence is gonna make Siri smarter. So when you make a request, you can use more natural language, like ask for something and maybe even change your mind and Siri will wait until you finish. Instead of having to remember a certain fit phrase, which I know I always forget these different phrases and then my device just pisses me off. Now Siri can be like a real assistant and just get what you're saying. With Siri having access to different apps and being able to gather information across those apps, you can ask for things like having an email chain summarized. There's a to-do list in there. Uh, Apple Intelligence supposedly will be able to pull that list out and put it in reminders so you can check those items off. It sounds really cool to be able to have Siri grab information and consolidate it for you. I love chat GPT, but you have to input stuff in there instead just Ask and Siri will know where to get that information. Speaking of chat GPT, that is the huge announcement. Apple struck a deal with chat GPT. Apple isn't paying chat GPT at all, but uh, they're working together. And the way they're doing it still protects Apple's privacy and security that they're so proud of. The way it works is if you make a request, it'll try to get handled on device or go to the uh, secure cloud server and be answered, but then you'll get prompted from Siri asking if you would like additional information from ChatGPT. If you say yes, that request will be sent to ChatGPT, it'll be processed, and nothing is stored on their servers. This is great. ChatGPT is like the best in AI, and now you're going to have access from it using Siri without having to worry about your stuff being uh, saved on their servers, that's pretty cool. Now, you don't have to pay for this ChatGPT integration. If you are using ChatGPT Pro that costs $20 a month, you'll get the additional ChatGPT features implemented automatically. Another cool part that Apple's showing is that you can get these answers without ever leaving the app you're in. Where now I would launch the ChatGPT app, I do some work in there, copy, paste information over, things like that, where it's gonna be pretty cool to have that information pop up grab it, put it where you need it. Um, is Amazon gonna be able to cut the same kind of deal or are they just gonna be using their own servers and information run Alexa AI? Who knows, but I just don't see them working that same deal out. Apple Intelligence is gonna be a free AI that works across all your devices and all your apps. 
I don't know how Amazon has any real chance to compete with that. I understand if you're not an Apple user, but it's only a matter of time before Google does the same stuff uh, with their AI and their devices. And uh, Amazon's gonna be in trouble then. Now, what are your thoughts on Apple intelligence, Alexa AI, or any other AI out there? Is this stuff that you look forward to using? Are you using it now? Or should we just be scared? Now, if you made it this far, please consider subscribing and click the bell to see the next video. Next, you should check out this video over here to see why I kicked all of the Echo Shows out of my house. I'm done with them. They are gone. So I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.